I think a good piece of advice I got before or whilst I was interviewing was that you should take every interview, whether you get the job or not, as an experience, mm -hmm. and you'll learn from it. My interview technique from the first interview to the fifth one where I got the job was it, it improved massively mm. um, and I felt more confident and I think that is from getting a rejection whatever whatever that is and taking getting the feedback that's really important mm -hmm. if you can speak to that person and, and and ask them why what were the reasons that I, I didn't I wasn't right for the role or whatever um, then that's really valuable for you because you can either work on that or sort of reflect on that aspect of it. I think taking experience from interviews is the best thing you can do. It's funny because I didn't think I'd be like an emotional person, but it does get quite emotional. Like when something doesn't go right and you feel like you worked really hard on it, you're just like so gutted and you're just like, ah. Oh. I remember the most sad I'd ever been was when I started applying for jobs and getting declined and like you put like so much effort into like a, um, a uh, what's it called, a cover letter, and then you go into the interview and you really think you did well and they tell you you didn't get it and you're just like, that is so heartbreaking. <laughs> and like that, that's really hard. Like I think getting told no and getting things um, rejected is quite a good thing to learn because I, in school, in uni, like as much hard work as you put in is kind of like you get a good grade or yeah. you get good marks, so that's like nice, but in work it's not always the case because you might work really hard but someone else also worked hard and so they got it mm -hmm. and so I think that's a good learning curve. I think it's interesting, you have to try and think retrospectively, so there's jobs that I can't even remember being, like I, I remember crying about some job but actually not in the high street, I didn't get the job I wanted when I first applied and I was like, oh, I really wanted that job, like it's so perfect, blah, blah. and then they called me back um, later and said there was another opportunity and what about this and I think you just have to always be positive and like leave things on a good note as well and like maybe try and keep in touch and if you do really like a company or anything like that just reapply as well it doesn't mean just because once they didn't like you see what try and get feedback things like that um, and then yeah so even if you don't apply to that company again or or anything like that you can learn for the next place and there's so many hundreds of jobs and so many hundreds of opportunities that it's like it's not the one only one that you can possibly do so it's trying to like think of that at the time when you're like, oh, so sad. <laughs> well, first of all, that thing about learning. So if, if I have a knockback, I do absolutely everything in my power to make sure I don't see it as a failure, but see it as a learning experience. It's so hard sometimes, because sometimes you can be like, no, I've just failed. Um, but it, it, it's about framing it in your mind as, as you're still learning, you're always going to be learning. Um, what have you learned from this? So, that, so that's one aspect. When I'm really, really stressed, the most important thing for me is, is, is to speak to people. Um, either speak to my coach about it or speak to the people around me. Not bottle it up all inside because, especially speak to your best friends, because your best friends will always have such brilliant, brilliant advice because they know you better than anybody. Um, and so listen to your friends' advice in those situations um, and, 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 and reach out for support. The other thing and again, it surprises me when I'm interviewing people that people don't come back more to us and say, so why didn't I get the job? Yeah. So ask the employer. And so I really recommend that as a course of action, just say, so what was lacking in my experience or my profile that, that meant there was a gap? So you learn from that. And actually, it may be just because you applied for the wrong thing. You know, yeah. maybe you applied for, I don't know, a government job and you frankly would never fit in that environment and you actually should be in a sales environment or something. Maybe sure. it's something like that. So yeah. it's a mismatch. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's just something in your that you're not portraying correctly. Mm -hmm. And it's hard, isn't it, to interview when you haven't had very many interviews, yeah. and as yet you've probably only got, you know, Saturday job, holiday job, uni experience under your belt. Yeah. But there are benefits and all those things. But believe in yourself. Learn from the knockbacks and really kind of really process that. If if you want to get a positive job, yeah. really process that so you do get a positive job and you will. I think for me it's just always about like forward thinking and just always thinking forward and making sure that I've got goals to achieve whether it be in my personal life or career and just always trying to stay positive really to make sure yeah your mindset's right. I think yeah prioritising is another great way and just understanding actually what's important. Um, taking a few deep breaths is often a great thing to do as well. You've got to remember that there's a lot of people in the same boat. And I think, um, yeah, you have rejections and, and when you don't get the job you wanted, yeah, the, I, you've got to understand 
if that that might not have been right for you you know that's may have been your dream job but the company may have not been the right company and um yeah it can hurt yeah knockbacks i think turning to your family family and friends is is really helpful uh, you shouldn't see it as um a sign of weakness you should actually really really appreciate what they have to say and uh, their support that they can provide. Um, for me, yeah, my close family and friends have been great support. Don't ever feel like you're not important or you're not gonna be able to make a success of things. You just need to have the determination and the drive and the power to do so, and you will.